Hello everyone, my name is Nelly Pavlova and the topic I'll be covering today is how to make your eating healthier while being at home. I want to emphasize that this is a great opportunity to build healthy eating habits away from social temptations and any food distractions which might be otherwise present in your regular environment. Uh, but before we start looking at how to make our eating habits healthier, it's essential to emphasize that although there are no authorized food or food components such as vitamins and minerals which protect against infections, eating nutritious foods is particularly important for maintaining optimal functioning of the immune system. And by covering all of your vitamin requirements, you will also be ensuring sufficient mineral levels are present in your diet. So uh, let's look at how to check whether you're having adequate vitamin levels. First, vitamin C uh, found in most fruits and vegetables, uh, it's destroyed by light and heat. So ideally, you should have them in the raw form. Vitamin A comes in two forms. Uh, retinol, which is uh, found in animal products, and beta carotene, which is mainly found in fruits and vegetables, uh, and especially those with orange color. So aim for at least one carrot per day. Vitamin B12 is also very important for immune health, uh, but it's not found in, plant, uh, in plants and should really ring a bell for vegans. Uh, although some fortified ingredients such as breakfast cereals do contain it, but the research is unclear whether it's absorbed in the same way as the animal-based vitamin B12. So ideally you should, uh, you should uh, ensure your vitamin B12 needs are met with animal products and one extra day should uh, supply all of your needs. Vitamin B6 um, is easily excreted in the urine and therefore should be regularly consumed in order to ensure sufficient levels. It's very, very important for mood uh, and it's found in wheat-based products, also bananas, fish, chicken, and a portion of chicken uh, with sweet potato or rice would provide all of your needs. Everything sounds great, uh, but as we know, knowledge does not always equal action. So it's essential to look at how to translate this knowledge of what constitutes a healthy diet into actual routines. And since we had a big shift in uh, our overall daily routines, including eating, we need to think of how to build uh, healthy eating routines. So daily breakfast as a starting point, within 30 minutes after waking up, uh, as the research suggests, people who consume breakfast are less likely to overeat later in the day and have much stable appetite and lose mood throughout the day is very, very important. Also, uh, try to control your fat intake uh, and it should be up to 25% of your daily calories and aim to have healthy fats uh, in cooking as well as in their off, uh, raw form. Also ensure you have adequate protein levels uh, by regularly consuming things such as lean meat, fish, eggs, pulses, beans, tofu. Uh, complex carbohydrates are also very important. And for example, rather than having white rice, go for brown rice, which basically doesn't have its outer shelf removed and it's higher in fiber. Also, five portions of fruits and vegetables are very important. And I would say that's the minimum. Um, and if you're not there yet, aim to increase uh, your portions with half portion every week. Also try to monitor yourself and keep a food diary uh, in order to build awareness around your food intake. Stay away from snacking uh, and try to swap on healthier food snacks uh, with, uh, with healthier options. For example, instead of having sweetened yogurt, uh, have plain yogurt with some fresh fruits. Also look at your portion sizes. Uh, in fact, research suggests that even if we have a bigger lunch, it doesn't necessarily mean we are going to have a um, smaller dinner. So this adds up to our overall uh, calorie intake, which might lead to um, weight gain in the longer run. And to have nutrient dense foods rather than energy dense foods. So nutrient dense foods are really the foods which do not come from a pack. So this can be a good tip. Monitor um, how many of your meals come from a pack and aim to reduce them as much as you can. And aim to avoid uh, liquid calories as well from fizzy drinks or any energy drinks. Another very important thing is try not to skip meals and aim for at least three main meals a day. 
uh, by not leaving too long intervals between them. So I would say more, no, no more than four hours, but even three or better, unless you have a medical condition which requires you to leave longer uh, time gaps between them. Also important thing is uh, to try not to have uh, your dinner close to your breakfast and ideally to have at least 12 hours of fasting interval between both. Research is there that although uh, this fasting interval might not have direct impact on your weight, it's very important for your energy levels as well as for your craving. And by having this longer fasting interval, you're likely to decrease your craving and therefore food intake throughout the next day and stay away from TV distractions, uh, TV and distractions, and try to eat mindfully as much as you can. And in general, enjoy family cooking or experimenting on your own, and also try to explore foods which you have never had before and enjoy new, your new cooking habits. But of course, things don't always go as planned, and stress, negative and even positive emotions can make us uh, crave food and overeat. Uh, but instead, try to make a list of alternative activities which you can enjoy doing uh, and can be done at home, such as taking bath, calling a friend, or listening to an audio book, and prefer to eat every time you have the urge to eat uh, in response to these emotional cues rather than physical hunger. Also, uh, every so often we eat something only because it's there and not because we are hungry. So try to control your environment and don't store foods which you don't want to eat. Be kind to yourself and accept that, that there will be unplanned food and drink, in, drink intake. Write these down and refer to them as learning experiences rather than criticizing yourself or engaging in deconstructive thinking. Be constructive and rather think uh, why this has happened and reflect on that. This will allow, allow you to build long lasting habits. And uh, we, uh, almost everyone who wants to uh, have healthy routines engages uh, every so often in black and white thinking, which is all or nothing mindset. So even if you had this one cookie, don't force yourself to finish the whole pack or don't uh, sabotage yourself with those that well, why did you have this cookie? Instead, emphasize on building flexibility and the need, in fact, that sometimes we need to have unhealthy foods. Here is an example menu, uh, which is a guide of what you might, how you can structure your meal plan. Um, it's really providing you with meals which are uh, proportional of uh, fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. But I've also included some websites as a useful guide. Uh, and thank you very much. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Thank you for listening.